But if the prophecy is to come to pass, which prophecy will come to pass, then we need to prepare now while we have the time. We need to repent now while we still have the chance. We need to preach the gospel now while we still have the freedom and the chance to do so. A few years ago, I made a video on YouTube on this channel called Woe to Babylon, Dream of America's Destruction. And the details of that dream and the details spoken about in that video have been strikingly similar to the experiences that a lot of Christians are having right now. Over the past few weeks, I've been seeing a large growing number of Christians having similar dreams, the exact same scenario happening in the end times. And the details are so similar to the details that I saw in that vision in that time in that video. And I decided to talk about it because I'm convinced that this was from God because of the amount of people having the exact same dream over and over and over. And not only is from God, but it's soon. And that the more God is giving us these dreams and vision is the sooner that this is going to take place. So this is very concerning for me. This is something that has been on my heart for the past few days to talk about because most of my audience, as well as a lot of Christians in general, live here in America. If you go all the way to the book of Revelation, it talks about Babylon and its destruction is similar to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Once you look at the description of Babylon, it compares very well to the current state of America and where it's headed and where we are now. The same thing that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah is the same thing that's happening here in America, which is leading to believe that these dreams are true, that God has been revealing a revelation to us. And some of us don't even know it, but I am at the point where I'm convinced. These people are getting these dreams. So now the question must be, what should we do about this? Let's look at the Bible. For an example, when the prophet Jonah was sent to the city of Nineveh to preach about the soon coming destruction, the soon judgment of God on that city, on that nation, what happened? The kings and all the peoples laid down everything, stopped everything and repented. Everyone got on their face, uh, repented in sackcloth and ashes. They didn't just repent and say, I'm sorry. They repented and turned away from their sins and came to God and asked for his forgiveness. What did God do after they did that? He forgave them of their sin. Sodom and Gomorrah, I'm sure that God sent some type of warning or message to that city, maybe through Lot. They knew that destruction was coming. Lot knew that God was going to judge that nation. These people who are living the same way that many Americans are today, refused to repent. Lot even questioned God and said, if there was only 10 righteous people in this city, will you save the city? And he said, if there was only 10 righteous men in this city, I will save the whole city. Not one person came and repented and turned away from their sins and asked for God's forgiveness. Not one. And then the destruction that is still seen to this day was put upon Sodom and Gomorrah. God carried out the judgment because they refused to repent. If prophecy is going to happen, then it's going to happen. I have reason to believe that America is mystery Babylon, according to the book of Revelation. Repentance does not seem like that much of a gift until it's taken from you. Once God judges mystery Babylon, it's way too late. That's why the Bible prophesies, it says, come out of her, my people, so you don't take part in her iniquity. Come out of her, my people who are called by my name, because... The nation of Mystery Babylon refused to repent and they did some of the most detestable acts and they did all wickedness against God. God is raising up prophets and preachers in these last days that if all these people are having the same exact dream, that you cannot deny that God may actually be saying something to at least his church in these last days about what is about to come on upon this nation. I'm making this video today to let you guys know. It is time to repent. It is time to wake up. It is time to turn back to God and win as many souls as you possibly can. Because I have no doubt in my mind that soon that alarm of come out of her, my people, will happen soon. I have no, I have no doubt that it's going to happen soon. The question is, when and will we be ready? Because God is going to rescue his people. But 
if the prophecy is to come to pass, which prophecy will come to pass, then we need to prepare now while we have the time. We need to repent now while we still have the chance. We need to preach the gospel now while we still have the freedom and the chance to do so. We need to be preparing financially, emotionally, spiritually for it now while we have the chance. And making sure that we're sending the gospel out as effective as possible to be sure that everyone has a chance to hear the gospel, hear the truth, and make their own decision. Because once Mystery Babylon is destroyed, it's too late to turn and repent and then do things right this time. It's too late at that point. So it is up to us, the Christians, the body of Christ, to share the love of God, to share the gospel, to rebuke where rebuking is needing and correct where correction is needing and be more serious about our own faith in private and in public. God is going to rescue those who belong to him. At the end of the day, there are too many people who are having these dreams and these visions and how it's just so similar to the book of Revelation and to everyone's experiences are just so unified for me to believe that this is not from God. I think it's more than clear what's happening here unless proven otherwise. If you can prove to me that these prophecies are not becoming real before our very eyes and that what we're seeing in America happening is not a direct reflection of what was also going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, please show me the scripture and the teaching behind that. If you ask me, America is taking the exact same path that Sodom and Gomorrah took. This is a very serious and concerning situation because I think many of us Christians here in America are not even ready to be willing to lay our lives down for Christ. It's concerning to me because I don't think we've prepared at all. We've preached, we made YouTube channels, we've started church services and things like that, but we have not prepared for persecution. We haven't prepared to go where God may lead us in this type of scenario. We haven't prepared to leave everything behind. Our houses, family members, possessions, cars, money, everything behind. So this is just a warning right now. Prepare for the worst and stay prepared because Jesus is coming soon and prophecy will be fulfilled. It's already unfolding before our very eyes and it's very clear that that is happening. We need to do our due diligence and do our part. I just wanted to make that very clear because no one's really talking about it. No one's really taking that step to step up and warn the church that this is going on. This is, honestly, this is not even really for the non-believer. This is for the believer who already knows what's up because it starts with the church and judgment also starts with the church. I'm not claiming to be a prophet or anything. I'm not claiming to all these people to be prophets. But what I am saying is that when God wants us to be unified in something, I know that God will show us all the same or very similar things that give us the, all the same message. All of us need to be on the exact same page in these last days. Everyone, forget about your denominations. Forget it about your non-heaven or hell issue debates. We need to get down in the dirt, faces in the floor, ash and sackcloth, repent and get right with God and get on the same page because this world is going to get worse. I'm not going to say it's going to get better. No, it's going to get worse. It's actively getting worse. And none of us are where we need to be. Not, not in America. You talk to the underground church in Pakistan and 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 China and all these other places, they they they're ready. They're already dealing with it. We've been living comfortably our whole lives, most of us. It, it's time to stop. It's time to do what's uncomfortable. It's time to get in the game, get ahead in the game, and remember that no servant is greater than their master. If Jesus suffered, we will too. But God is going to guide us through it all, and He's going to protect us in these last days but if you do not stay vigilant if you slack off if you don't take any of this seriously these signs and wonders that god has been showing us through these visions and dreams and through the book of revelation then sorry but you're gonna be you're gonna let be left behind you're not gonna be where you need to be when the time comes to do what thus saith the lord right i leave you with that god bless y'all take this pray about it preach the gospel Stay vigilant. Repent for the kingdom is near. God bless you all.